For the next few minutes, we will show you how to create accounts payable invoices. After the invoice batch has been created, we can create the invoices. For our example, we're going to create the invoice received from one of our vendors, Chloride Systems. From Accounts Payable, go to AP Transactions and select Invoice Batch List or Invoice Entry. We'll select Invoice Batch List. We choose the open batch where we want to add the invoice and click Open. Enter the invoice description and select the vendor. Then select invoice as the document type, enter the invoice date and the invoice or document number. The posting date automatically defaults to the document date. We can enter the PO and order numbers. We'll leave them empty for our example. We add the document total, which is the total amount of the invoice, in this case 108 with 25. Then we enter the detail line items. Select the distribution code or GL account. In this case, the distribution code populates from the vendor record. We add the amount. If we scroll to the right, we can see the allocated tax. This item is discountable as per the terms of the invoice, so we verify the discountable column is set to yes. If we want to change the taxes for this line item, we leave it highlighted and click Account Tax. If we don't want any of the taxes to be charged, we could change the detailed tax class to 2 for the specific tax. We don't need to make any changes in our example, so let's close this window. In the Taxes tab, we can see tax information, including the vendor tax class. In this case, the value is 1 for both taxes, indicating the vendor is taxable. Remember that taxes are calculated based on the rates and rules set up within tax services. The tax amount has been automatically calculated, but we could change it to enter the tax amounts manually. In the Terms tab, we select the Terms code for the invoice. Let's change the Terms code to 2N30. Then verify the due date, discount date, and amounts to match the vendor invoice. In the total tab, we verify the amounts are correct. After all the invoice details have been entered, we add it and close out of the window. You can now see one entry was added to the batch and the batch is still open. Please note, the invoice will not impact the accounting system until the batch is posted. Were you able to create an accounts payable invoice? Great! Congratulations, you now know how to create AP invoices.